to kind of make it sure 2020 was meant to be second round of touring for the last album or overseas and stuff but it actually uh, became a year of writing new music and totally focusing on the new album Truth In Between. Plans we had had to be turned upside down. I remember sitting with, down with the band, we were like, are we even doing that? Like, we hear the news of it. Flights are being canceled, countries are being put on lockdown and everything. Like, what if we go over there and we get stuck? This year is like off. Let's focus on the music and the writing process was, was great. I mean, there was a strange energy or feeling because nobody knew what was happening, but we experienced so much in the past as a band and personally that was not like something to think of, okay, we have to quit the plans of being a band or doing music. Got so much more time for being creative with the bands. I could contribute so much music and riffs that I had from years before and just bring them into the writing process. So really cool. I could do a lot of stuff, um, whole songs or nearly whole songs and a shit ton of riffs. The iron ahead is part. Um, lyrics, some. Very, very nice bass lines, actually. Very deep and groovy, like it's weird. <laughs> it was the first record that really started from a whole band from point zero. And then having the time to develop it, that was, that was great. <laughs> we were like, okay, we're gonna record live in a studio, all four of us and we're just gonna do it. I was like, okay, I'm up, I'm up for it. I've never done it, but it sounded good. Just go for it and headbang, freak out in the studio, like, like in a rock show, you know, like on stage. I got a whole new feeling for the songs actually, and I think that it was very helpful to build out the serious groove to it actually. If a band records live or as much live as possible, you get the band sound, and that's the thing. Many new bands sound the same. They're great bands, they're great musicians, they write great songs, but if you just use the same Pro Tool sounds, snare triggers on the drums, the same guitar, digital amp modelings, and, and then you cut it, make it really perfect, all these records sound like the same, they all sound like Slayer songs in Better Produced. So Slayer sounds like Slayer because they record a lot of it live as well. And so you get, ah, oh, that's Slayer, because you get their guitar tune. It was all four of us performing a song and the sound and feeling that you get from playing together. So in the end, I know why we did it. Now I get it because it felt amazing to do it like that. But because people keep kept telling us that we are a live band, we sound amazing live on stage. We kind of wanted to bring that idea of us playing and the feeling of it onto a record and that was one of the ways to do it. Also with a live recording, it's just, it sounds so real and natural, but on the other hand, it's very well composed music on different layers. It's not boring at all. It's 13 totally different tracks. I mean, of course, people can expect a reset record, but to me, it's we de developed in a in a way we wanted, but in a natural way. It's not like too complicated music or anything. It's just four guys playing music, playing metal, doing what they do best. Hopefully, it's a banquet of like the best of what we as musicians can offer. The old, you know, true feeling of metal is to just rebel and say I'm not going along with the program, and. Kind of, it's kind of a message to say, yeah, we're still like that, by the way. We haven't changed. 